edge. The cap, if you can bother, bother me in the cap here, that's fine. I'm usually there until about one. I have lab until four. I have open lab until six. <coughs> and I have lecture at six to nine. So anytime Friday is a good time to get a hold of me. Make sense? And they just sent me the open lab times last night. So I'll try to get those posted soon. But there will be a Friday night open lab from 4 to 5 30. Uh, there seem to be everything every day of the week except for Friday mornings. And they and they they knew uh, additional open labs. Not that I saw. It seems like it. Because it's not. But okay. Y'all the dean. All right. So today we're meeting here until noon ish, eleven thirty ish. Then you have lab from one to four or one to three fifty. And then I'm gonna have the same class tonight. And then they're gonna have lab tomorrow. And Greg, their lab director is actually teaching one twelve directly next door. So you see me talking to Greg once in a while. Let's see, read the course description. Okay, so you made it through round one, you're in round two. So you made it through the hard <laughs> culture shock, now you're in the hard, hard stuff. Um, for measly four credits for 25 credits worth of work. This term we do brain, nerves, hormones, heart, blood, circulation, immunity. We call this the contractor term, wiring and plumbing. That's what you're doing a lot. And a lot of biochemistry. So if you're good with abstract biochemistry, this is your term. If you want touchy-feely like bones, you're going to be miserable this term. There's very little touchy-feely, a whole lot of conceptual abstraction. But we mix it up, so you get a little both. But students do say this is the hardest term in terms of just understanding the concept. However, it is easier in 231 in the sense that you don't go through lab and all of a sudden the last four weeks here's these big AOI lists of ungodly amount of stuff you have to yes. choke. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get that today. <laughs> like so that. You get choking every week instead of waiting to the end to choke. Yeah. So at least you have a little more <laughs> consistency in you choke. But I like this term. It's a bit nice. All right, so you can read the outcomes and you are all here because you passed. Good. And then let's go through the grading. So 12% of your grade is a weekly quiz. The lecture exams are half because it's if you know something, the other stuff you do is immediately five, and your lab is a third or 33%, and 90 to 60. Do you okay those? Let's read the not so fine print just so we're all clear. You can read this last term. You have to pass lab to pass lecture, so you're here because you did that, but that is the rule. And we tend to get a little more mean on that rule as we go along. So we may forgive a 69 and 231, we're not going to forgive a 69 and 232 because we've known that term now for two terms. So we tend to be a little mean. So remember that I can bump you up if I choose. I don't have to pass no pass and stuff over in that building there. They can feel that. And then if your name is on the roster, you're still here. Or in the grade. Make sense? Flip the page over. You can read through the long-winded legal stuff that you need to read, but give it a read. Let's focus on the, the page I've created control on, which is the schedule of age. So let's walk through what you're doing. It's a fast-paced term. Remember the fall term, you had Thanksgiving in there, gave you a little bit of a break, and it seemed long, and nice weather, or whatever. Now it's miserable weather, you get no breaks. That's how it's going. Um, so today we're going to do class anatomy overview. We're going to learn about the brain today, in almost all its entirety. Then next week you're going to take a quiz on today. So you're going to get a quiz on a lot of brain wiring. Prepare your mind, body, soul. We're going to do brain integration, which is sort of a piecing together the brain. We're going to do the ANS, then you get a quiz in the week after that, and then talk, seeing, hearing, and tasting, and all that stuff. And what happens week four? Exam. Oh, because you have me before you realize your lab exam, therefore, is the following week, of week five. So your lecture exams are a week off from lab. So your first lecture exam is week four. Lab exams are following. <coughs> but then we keep going, right? Quiz, 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 exam. Quiz, quiz, final. Quiz every day. You know that rule. Sense? So the first test basically is the wiring part of the course. The second exam is kind of the plumbing part of the course. And the final then covers the immunity, which is sort of the biochemistry stuff. So wiring, plumbing, and chemistry. Make sense? Busy term. So whatever text you had last term, same thing. I don't care what they are. You do need a new packet of pain, which most of you have downloaded already off our website, but make sure you have one soon, as in now. But if not, Good one. You okay, how to be a schedule? I'll love second term, you know all this stuff. All right. Let's find the third page, which is your homework page. The 
like last term, you have weekly homework to do. I think most of the same questions from last year, other than a few. Not that creative. So what you're going to do is you're just going to answer these questions on a piece of paper. You can type them, you can write them, you can email them, whatever suits your fancy. And get them to me by next week is when they're due. So before you leave next week, Friday, give me some answers to these questions. So these ones, you'll be able to figure out after you've had lecture today, you should be able to figure these out and on down the list. So about a week off from the lecture. Make sense? Very good. And yes, I know you can Google them, and I know people give you contrary answers. That's the point. Let's think about it. Make sense how these work? So your first homework assignment, turn these in next week. Stone cold silence. Fantastic. <laughs> Find the project page. Yes, there is a project this term. So if you're with me last term, you had the medical procedure, how they test stuff project. In the continuation of your professional growth, this is a pharmacology project. So, welcome to healthcare. Drugs drive healthcare. Whether you like it or not, pills are what doctors think about. So, to help you be better nurses and just to learn a little anatomy, you're going to do a drug to the class. No, oh, okay. A project on drugs to the class <laughs> about drugs, because that way you learn about what you're going to work with in the nursing field. I get to learn a little bit about what you do. So, this is a groupy thing. I know you hate groups. I hate them too. Welcome to life. Find any size group more than two. So it can be 50, it can be five, I don't care. They're your problem. And then number two, you're gonna investigate a drug that's used in a healthcare setting. Drug I'm using very, very broadly. So it can be prescription surgeon thing, it can be over the counter, herbal, diet, smoke. I don't care what you visualize drug to be. Anything that you would take to quote, treat something or solve something. It can be spinach, it can be herbs, it can be, you know, that bill, it could be something with a big name. I don't care. Anything you think you might encounter in a healthcare setting is fair game. So in years past, everything from aspirin to dyes for angiograms to all sorts of fancy big long words. So anything in there. So I'm using that kind of broadly. So number three, you and your group are going to then do a teaching case study, like you did last term, on this drug in a healthcare setting. So you're going to tell me a patient that you're trying to treat. Why are you giving this person this pill or whatever? How the drug works, that is, what does the drug actually do to treat your patient? And if they don't know, that's a perfectly legitimate answer. If you may have many pills you read at the bottom, like, we don't understand the mode of action. That means we have no clue, <laughs> right? But that's okay to say that if they don't know how. And then C, how do you actually give the person this drug? Do you give a shot? Do you take a pill? Do you snort it? I don't care. And then it's just all the trivial, gory photos, twice on Google, whatever you want. So what you're gonna do is basically, here's the patient, Here's what we're going to do to the patient with the pill. Here's how we give them the pill. Thank you. Good night. Right. So number four, you're going to do this visually. So a lot of you use PowerPoint. You're not limited to that. So you're going to shine some magic case study up here. How you do it? You don't have to give everyone a copy. You have to give me a copy so I can grade something. But you're not obligated to spend 50 bucks on copies. And then number five, this is your project to teach all of us something. So you're not trying to impress me with your medical terminology. Well, you can. Um, you're trying to teach everyone. So you want to keep it simple enough that we get it, but not so simple that we're bored. You can be funny or not. You can be dry or not. You can be mime or not. I mean, it's your project as long as you are doing A through D on number three. So you can be humorous. You don't have to be. You can use animations. You don't have to. Be creative. It's okay. And then number six, you get less than five minutes to do this. All right? Your doctor's going to give you three. Um, so if there's five of you in a group, you should get less than a minute to say something. How do you choose to do that? And everyone has to talk at least once in English. But that's up to you to decide what that means. Make sense? So a five minute little spiel on your drug. Shouldn't be hard. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Let's go down to deadlines. By two classes from now, you need to find a group and pick a drug. What that means is on a piece of paper, just put your names and hi, we're gonna do blah blah blah. And that's that's it. First come, first serve. And the goal is that you would give your talk roughly when we cover that idea. So your drugs are limited to stuff that we're going to basically deal with this term. So your brain drugs, what does that mean? Um, hormones. Neuromonitor is a brain drug. Sure. Well, if it didn't, why would people take it? Okay. <laughs> uh, seeing, hearing, tasting, like optometrist drugs. You would have uh, hormones. You'd have blood drugs, heart drugs, circulatory drugs, immune drugs. So any drug, quote, quote, 
that deal with any of those body systems is perfectly fine. So if you want to do a nervous system hormone drug, you would, I'm asking you to get your project done between classes four through six. So we'd learn about those body systems and you'd give us an application of the drug that affects it. And then you'd be done for the term. You want to put it off to the bitter end, you do an immune system drug which puts put you somewhere around weeks nine and ten. The very end. So you pick the group, you pick the drug, and by sort of default, you pick when roughly the term you're going to go. So you can get over earlier, wait till the end. Sure call. Make sense? So flip that page over. You will see a rough grading scale. I think last term, I think some, one group missed half a point on one of them. I mean, this is not designed to be punitive on looking to nail you. It's designed to be an experience of learning something. So as long as you do what's in the box, you should get almost all the credit. <coughs> Mad. And then down here is a sample. This is actually probably longer and more detailed than you would need to be to earn full credit. But this is something I wrote, not that you have to like it. Um, but I go through Mr. Jones, you know, he's a diabetic, so there's a patient. I give him Lantus, there's the drug. I tell you how it works in the second paragraph, the binding receptor, blah, blah, blah. I tell you some gee whiz stuff, and by the way, you know, there you go. Thank you, good night. You can use animations from the drug publisher, that's fine. You can use YouTube, that's cool or not. Yeah. That's roughly about a paragraph per thing. Make sense? So, if you work in a healthcare setting, just think about drugs you use on patients. That's perfectly okay. <coughs> the goal is that you understand some of the drugs that you will encounter in your career. My dad recently had a stroke, and you should see the pages of the drugs they're giving him. Wow, hey, another beta blocker. Yeah, another beta blocker. Yeah. It's amazing. So, questions on the project? So your first goal is find a group to work with and think of a drug to do. If you can't think of one, I can assist you. So, questions on syllabus, homework, project, schedule, to make second term so fun, you know how this all works by now. Any questions at all? Where's copy? Sounds good stepping. Are you ready? Okay, we're going to do a little get to know you activity. And for 10 more weeks. So get out a piece of paper. And on this piece of paper, you're going to write your name. It didn't be hard.